my best part of the week last week was a video that I was uh, given on our podcast where you can watch my reaction. But for those that weren't here, hopefully this works. We're going to watch it together. Okay? So let's see if this works. If you weren't here for it, here is a message from Commander Shepard himself. This is Commander Shepard with a priority message for Eric Whiteley Voss Blindwave. Eric, just wanted to wish you the best for your first playthrough of Mass Effect 3. Tali, Space Hamster, Josh, Aiden, and Twitch Chat are counting on you. I should go. <laughs> that was extremely special. I should go. <laughs> so, yeah, um... Just want to thank everybody that was a part of that. Aiden, who uh, edits the highlights, I think, took care of that for me. And uh, that was really cool. Mark Mir uh, gave us that video. And I could not be ready for Mass Effect 3 more after that. So now that we've heard from Commander Shepard, let us become Commander Shepard and uh, get into this game. We did recover some toys. We recovered... Our space hamster, which I was super, super happy by. Ooh, I should probably use the bathroom. Bathroom used. Game still handling the mirrors good. Awesome. All right, let's get the blessings of space hamster. Okay, thank you for the blessings very much, space hamster. We also don't have any fish. Maybe I should look around the Normandy for my fish. Check the toilet. I looked at the toilet, I don't see any fish. There's no fish. You lied to me. That's the last time I listened to chat. I kind of feel like I want to go to Eden Prime just because this is will be, this will be kind of like my first main mission of Mass Effect 3. And that was my first main mission of Mass Effect 1. So as bookends, that kind of feels good. So I think we're going to go to Eden Prime. Uh, Prothean artifact on Eden Prime. Land on the planet to recover. Clusters already conquered by Reapers can be accessed during the Normandy's using the Normandy's stealth drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Okay, uh, this is really cool looking map here. Uh, let's see what we got. Recover Prothean artifact, Exodus cluster. And I appreciate everybody holding the line very much so in the chat. If you are watching this on YouTube, uh, on a highlight or on the archive channel, uh, and you want to be part of holding the line, please, uh, every Wednesday at 6 p.m., I'm going to be playing Mass Effect 3 until we finish. So if you want to be part of that line, you can come in the chat, as these fine people are right now. I very much appreciate it. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. Well, okay. Uh, if a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you have completed a mission before returning. Okay, so this is a new system. Eden Prime. Commander Shepard responded to the attack and countered Prothean Beacon that warned of the imminent Reaper invasion. It is thanks to the Beacon and the Commander's quick action that the galaxy has any chance of survival today. Squad selection. We got a lot of choices. James is so big. <laughs> How bad? A lot of dead civilians. Lost one of my men, Jenkins, to a death row. Jenkins. Reports said Saren had bombs set up to wipe out the whole colony. He tried. He failed. Not on my watch. Damn straight, Rocco. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few and Cortez minutes. is my shuttle you. pilot. All part of the service, Commander. Just taking in the Vista. Back to Eden Prime. It's a Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara, you ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Uh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. I already like the squad interaction so much. <laughs> I want more of that, honestly. We don't have the manpower to fight the entire colony, and if these families knew they were never going to see their sons and daughters again, there'd be no way they'd cooperate. I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. That would be good. Let's do that. I like that idea. It's not a Prothean artifact. It's... <laughs> 
Prothean. You mean huh? a collector? Those things the Reapers turn the Protheans into? No, an original unmodified Prothean. Unmodified? Still alive. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Curious! They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted, huh? Like when the Solarians helped the Krogan to evolve a little faster. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prized knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. Yeah, man. Okay. You know what? I am glad she's here. She studied the Protheans for 50 years, right? Or 100 years? Something like that. He could be the foremost scientist of his time, or perhaps the wisest counselor. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. So we gotta open it. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. Oh. Heads up! That seems like James is piloting that ship. <laughs> Sniper battle, baby. All right, let's get moving before more of them come back. See the pieces come off that guy. Yes! Everything is so detailed. Remember Mass Effect One, when everything was like the same <laughs> everywhere. Now I just need to. I I feel like it's not enough to not appreciate all the details. And just look, look how good everything looks, man. But they got plant. They got plant in this bitch. We are, be careful with that thing sticking through my table, okay? Just be careful. Damn, okay. What the hell kind of gun is that? They have a turret up. There, that lab found footage of the Proteans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. We've gotten word from our source with Eden Prime's resistance movement that we can expect an attack on security, Dr. William, Cam by Ada. Okay, so they have a, a spy. To help the colonists. The yeah. more we find, the better chance they'll have. Can I open this door? No hacking, huh? Just get to see this. That's cool. Can't say I'm gonna miss my hacking days. Seeing the Proteans fight the Reapers? Look at them. They were so cool looking before the Cleaners. They got biotic abilities. Dude, is this like the Shepherd of Protheans? Oh, they're fighting against the Collector. This is like a whole fucking flashback. This is crazy. Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. I think I can duplicate that to open the life pod. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The oh. Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, yeah. it lets you see the images as a Prothean would and understand their language. Okay. Find the remaining pod data. That was cool. Man. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. All right. Green up, Shepard. It's cool that you can recognize the Perthian uh, architecture. Did I see a smaller one there? We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. I remember the Perthian for vault the Empire, we were at. Yeah. For the Empire. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life forms. Got yeah, there's smaller ones there, the bigger ones. You understood that one too? Yeah. I've got the signal the Protheans use to activate stasis mode. Just trying to get in that little hole, which I know sounds weird. Shit! Fuck you! Oh, fuck. I for sure thought you were James. <laughs> Come on, I'm hitting their feet! Oh, 
Oh, okay, I have to find a better way to deal with that. I need to use uh, biotic powers. I gotta, I gotta be better. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Of course. Heavy mech, don't let it get close. Heavy mech. Oh fuck. Called the Atlas. <clears throat> Fuck, that mech was beefy. You can open the life pod now. All right, I need to get better at this combat. I, I know I always say that. I know I never do, but <laughs> okay, let's open this thing up. There, you've got it. Is he alive? It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Ah! <laughs> Dude, we got a fucking full-blown real Prothean. <laughs> With biotic abilities. Thirty thousand years. Be careful, hey. he's confused. I can speak to him though, right? I have the cipher. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... 50,000. 50,000, not 30,000. 50,000, my bad. falling. The bunker is secure. Commander Javik. Javik. What is left of it? A few hundred people. Sensors are damaged. Automated reactivation is not an option. You will remain in stasis until a new culture discovers this bunker. This may lead to a power shortage. Do not shut off more pods. I need the few that are left. Our needs will be triaged appropriately. <sighs> you will be the voice of our people. I will be more than that. Who, whose voice is this? We have a connection, you and I. Us. Just you, Asari. Human. I'm surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Do I got Prothean on my crew? Who does not shake hands? A living Prothean. That's correct, Ed. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. <laughs> if the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Oh, Lucid Man's gonna be pissed about that. I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. Last of his kind. But he's not years new. Later. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. Nope, he's just getting information. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. Mm -hmm. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons. This. You found one. You saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they hidden? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? Man, it's I'm command. trying. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? Uh-huh. weapon your people were working Unless on. Unless it's a damn dirty I trick. I you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Okay. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. 
skilled in one art, killing. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. Oh man, he's Aaron Yeager. Reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. I, <laughs> I agree, kind of, but it is nothing in our fight against the Reapers has been that cut and dry. Because you still have hope that this war will end with your honor intact. I do. Stand in the ashes of a trillion dead souls and ask the ghosts if honor matters. Heard that line before. This silence is your answer. That's fucking amazing. Never heard the second part. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die will be the last voice of the Protheans sending them to their grave. <laughs> if you don't mind. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. It is a pretty useful ability, I gotta say that. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Handy. What about this room? So could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was oh, great. prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a pretty handy tool for someone that just came out of stasis for 50,000 years. Say that. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was oh, seeing my You didn't see much fire. peacetime, huh? We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. I had no idea Protheans were so Yeah, I didn't realize they were so severe. Very early I don't know. we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. The Metacon War. Metacon we War. The tide until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago in ways we could never imagine. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. Yeah, 50,000 years ago? I mean, modern humans evolved between 200 and 500,000 years ago. Am I right in that? I'm not really sure if I'm correct on that, but... I mean, Earth had had life for a very, very long time. Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there. Built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusano. Inusano. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Huh. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. That's what the Citadel races yes. are doing now. All races conform to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. Yeah. The subservient race diversity. became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. This has been amusing. Amusing. Oh. To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. Javik. Though I still need time to recover. Alright, so that's a hell of a crew member. You know, whenever I was playing Mass Effect 2, and because we're like non-military and we're, we're working for Cerberus, which is a little more civilian, I definitely felt more comfortable in this more casual outfit. But now that we're like really part of the Alliance, I kind of want to go with a more Alliance-looking outfit. This feels a little more Alliance military looking to me. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Mm -hmm. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. Mm, okay. What happened? 
I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus' ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. That would do it. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. Let's go speak to Joker. You know, I keep forgetting that I have unlimited run. So a Prothean, a real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Commander. Joker. Commander. Joker. Commander. Joker. All right, let's uh, do this priority mission with the uh, the Turian. Let's rescue from the moon. Kind of want to do a scan. All right, nothing happened. <laughs> All right, uh, that's here that we need to go to. Oh man, they got some fucking cool outfits. Whoa! Damn. Turian fleet. Holy shit. Not gonna matter much though. Man, I could use these as war assets. Let's just go to the moon over here. Oh no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Clear the landing zone. All right, get in, oh, it's get fucking out. crazy! Alright, we gotta help these Turians. Don't be Holy fuck! Got it! Trust me, it will burn. Try them again. Dude, what a fucking sight! And another! Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's Damn. gonna complicate things. Fucking, you know what? Damn Reapers. I'm sorry, that's a big loss for everyone. Reaper bastards. With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. Contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. All right, we gotta fix the tower. Um, I see the comm tower to the left of the main crazy, right. in front of Palavin. Graves. Okie dokie. So rifle. Oh, more mods. I gotta mod stuff, and then a scimitar. Shit! Press the wrong button. I didn't want to do that. I want to try the mods. Do, can I? Do I have to wait until I get a gun, or I'm at the ship to do that, or can I? It is. That's that's stupid. It's stupid. You gotta wait. I'm sorry. Mass Effect Three has failed me. <laughs> oh. Didn't know that was a thing. Motherfucker got behind me. From where? I really just love. Watching the Reapers as much as it sucks, and I hate them. We can't prepare it for this panel. Oh, God damn it! Is this man? Is someone killed? Why are they making me choose? Uh, we'll have Liara go. That way, James can make a stand with me. Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Yep, we can do that. James is good. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah! Let's take them. So many dead or MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palamon. If we lose this moon, we lose Palamon. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advised. All right, Garrus. He's a hell of a soldier. Hell of a soldier, Lieutenant. Good to see you too, Leon. Good to see you too, Lieutenant. 
Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. <laughs> Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with Military Command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. Hmm, what do you mean? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right yep. now, he could be our best shot. He might I be the perfect him. one. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. What? I can't find the source. That fucking... I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to that fucking out. thing that's in the AI core. Incoming harvester, headed for the air. Holy fuck, look at that thing. Maybe it makes a bird noise. Coming, Garrus? Yee. Yeah. Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Right behind you, Commander. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of stuff around here. I don't know, man. His sniper rifle thing is like his thing in Mass Effect 2. I kind of want to go sniper rifle 60%, but the the squad bonus is cool too. I don't know. What do you guys think? Sniper? Sniper, sniper? I'm gonna go sniper. Whoa! The fuck? Alright, so these are Turian uh, husk then, right? Is that what I'm seeing? Alright, this thing is crazy sauce. Do I ever have a chance to get my Mass Effect 2 gun back? I really like the, what was it called? The Matic? Activate. of Turians put together. You know what I'm saying? Fuck me! That roll did not work out. Alright, I think it's down. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. You had to say, Garrus, old buddy, old pal. Would you look at that? That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was. That's rough. Still have family there? That's rough, My buddy. Dad. A sister. This is a very solemn walk, gentlemen. Hard to see a beautiful ship like that go down. Not to mention the men serving on her. Yeah. Yeah. We should go. They said the Primarch was I should go. Them. Tolarian came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be mm -hmm. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. This is great. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I don't know if I would want to leave. I mean, I just did it with Earth, but I understand the want to not do it. Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly? Uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. <laughs> See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Yeah, it's worth a lot, Welcome man. Welcome aboard. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them, not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, 
and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Uh-huh. I know a certain Krogan leader that has unified the clans. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. Motherfucker, you guys wasted all of our time. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Hell of a mission. The Brute is a hulking amalgamation of Turian and Krogan victims of the Reapers. And Krogans. Spectres are agents from the Office of Special Tactics and Recognition. That's the Spectre that betrayed me. All Spectres betrayed me. Eden Prime support, 75. I think this is here. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. Gara said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Yep. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Paladin. And mine with Earth. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. <laughs> Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding. I can't access the AI core diagnostics. It's got to be that, uh, whatever this thing was, Dr. Eva, and now Edie is offline, or like two, like, computer things battling each other out or something? Edie, talk to me. Hope he's okay. Did that thing take over or something? Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie take Edie took over that. Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Whoa! Joker! You can get a robot girlfriend, man! <laughs> we gotta go tell him! She kind of looks like her voice actress a little bit now. Uh, Charlotte from Lucifer, I think. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Can you Normandy's be part of the crew? To every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with you us? You could come out on missions! Correct. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. <laughs> oh my god, whoa! Will this game stop, please? That's fucking crazy. I am shook. I'm a bit shook, I gotta say, I'm a bit shook. Was that Edie who just walked by? <laughs> no crew health issues to <laughs> Okay, she's just like, eh, eh, who cares? <laughs> I have to go see Joker. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot. So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? <laughs> Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet? He's so happy. Look at that. I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jeff. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. <sighs> hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. Yeah, There's man. At the moment, it appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> I'll be over here, flying the ship. 
<laughs> What's this about? Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Yes. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. Okay. I will keep you informed. Did not fucking see that one coming. I should have. We had a girl robot body down in the AI core. <laughs> so I guess it makes sense. Commander, you have a message from Major Elenko. He must be feeling better. Ah, Aria. A nightclub at the Citadel. Okay. Another meet at the Citadel. Okay. We can talk to Caden. He could be a specter. Thane! I think we gotta go to the Citadel, guys. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. Their okay. Ascension Project is the best training facility in the galaxy for human biotics. Yes, I sent a young man named David Archer there. I'm just surprised they're still open. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Hmm. Good catch. It could be simple disinformation. Trainer. Good catch. Thank you, Commander. We're trying to justify it. It's good. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. But no, the gun battery is nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get downright cozy. Ooh. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's him. He's an old friend of Erdnot Rex. Let's just hope friendship still counts for something in this war. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Hmm. Gives me something to focus on. Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. <laughs> I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Just remember, a certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. Uh -huh. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? Yeah. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. <sighs> I noticed General saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of succession are you these days? Let's not go there. <laughs> Primarch Vicarian, honored warrior. Oh, he just keeps going. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. I like all this conversation between the crew members a lot. Whose neck was that? She has got some curves. <laughs> Do we need to talk, Commander? Get off my ship! What's this? No? Not right now, Ellers. Am I going to, like, see a bunch of her reports or something and be like, get the fuck out of here? Hey. 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 Looking around. Yeah, what's this? I really gotta comb this ship, don't I? Still looking for my fish. But I think this means we should go to the Citadel now. 
All right, so Caden and Thane are both here. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. All right, Thane. Kepril Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. Damn. You need the best at your side, and I am not at oh, mine. Oh, man. I've been to several doctors. My favorite gave me three months to live. Nine months ago. Holy shit. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. I'm glad his, him and his son had that relationship. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of the big ones. And we were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, and wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing good work. Can I have a gun? I feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tiptree. Hmm. Ah! Uh, what was that? Why? What's happening? Why did I just like stop and go backwards? What's happening? <laughs> that was weird. All right, that's a glitch, not something I was. I am expected to be like, oh no, Eric, you're not paying attention. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you. Want no to become a specter? You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. Shepard. Udina. Udina. Hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. I got you this. Wow. Hey. Thanks, that's really great. This is good. Just for a little hospital. Quick Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but. I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. You and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, had each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listen, too. We went through Asher's death together. Yeah. We did. Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but I've been wrong about you. <laughs> I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Yeah, man. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Can we get him, like, a more comfortable bed? What the hell? How? <laughs> okay. Can man, listen to his voice. I just can't not think of Carbonassi. But my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. Or maybe you have. <laughs> Are you flirting with me, Commander? Wait, wait. Don't tell me. Let me live in the illusion. All right. Again, he needs a more comfortable bed. Regardless if he wants to get Shepard into it or not. All right, let's go into Purgatory. James, what you doing, bud? Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down here in the dirt with us grunts. You see those Marines over there? None of them officers. Just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah. They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Okay. I like the way you think, Lieutenant. Compadres! Hey! The commander would like you to have a drink. On him. So here's to us. Who's like us? Damn few. And they're all dead. Sorry, Shep. Thought you'd know that one. Thanks for the warning. I... It popped up and I kind of hesitated, but I definitely hit it. But I think I hit it on, like, the frame. Is this Arya? So you admit you and your thugs are here illegally. Yes, and it only took c -Sec three weeks to figure it out. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration.
integration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Man. Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. She has power I over the Asari Counselor? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. <laughs> the way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. Yes. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega, I kept the Blood Pack, Blue Suns, and Eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. No. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the ground. She wants the Shadow Syndicate. Groups. I just need you to close the deals. Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the Blood Pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. Uh. I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? I think that would it's add to my war assets. Shepherd. Let me know if you want to talk like I think it's a good idea. Where's the dance option? Damn it. I can dance up on this lady. Wow, look at Shepard go. <laughs> oh, that's great stuff. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, that will have to be the uh, the end of the stream, I think, guys. <laughs> oh man, that's great stuff. That was uh, that was great. I suppose right now I uh, will not um, do anything off stream um, until maybe I get uh, more into the game and we can see what missions that could happen. But no, I mean right now I just won't be doing anything off stream, and I'll be back here next week. Um, you can check out the Shepherd video. Uh, it was a podcast highlight last week with my initial reaction. So check that out as well if you haven't. Um, and yeah, make sure you guys come back for more streams. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Have a great night.